Yo, so I had a student that just made $50,000 in one day. <laughs> yeah, you heard me correctly. 50 bands in one day. Now, before we get into everything I want to get to, because it's a lot to unpack, if you're brand new, it's your boy Jeremy Cash. You feel me? Hey, listen. You're probably wondering why, you, why should you even listen to me. Uh, let me just show you a little bit of my history. Now, I don't have everything here. Uh, but the, all this is documented on my other YouTube channel. So this was 30K profit in like two weeks. Withdrew 15,000. It's all documented. This was a $10,000 uh, withdrawal. This is from the video. So you can go check that out uh, if you like. Let me come over here because I got a couple of other ones uh, that I want to show you before you even. So I can show you what we really do. You feel me? So. You can see $15,000 withdrawal, uh, and then I actually show it, you know, coming to me as well in this video, I believe, somewhere here. Uh, yeah, that was right there, $15,000 came to me through Coinbase. Uh, your boy was on the leaderboards on one of these videos. I actually went on the leaderboard several times, so right here you can see me on the leaderboards back in the Disney. Uh, 4,500 for the day. Uh, I got my 10K day here on Forex. Uh, I got a 19K day, but I was trying to find that video. It's on there, but I can't find it right now. This was actually $6,000 between three accounts. So this one had 39, the other one I believe had. But this is these all videos is already on YouTube. So if you need to go look them up, you can go look it up, right? Uh, this was 9K, 9K day, basically, as you can see on Forex. So I do know a little something about day trading. All right. So that was just the gist of it. All right. So I've been doing this for a long time. All right. Literally years and years and years. So let me raise this back on up. But yeah, I've been day trading um, for years. And so I do know a little something about what I'm about to talk about. All right. So there's a couple different things that people ask me uh when they see people do big days right the main question is what was the strategy he was using all right listen i'm gonna tell y'all like i tell everybody else it's not the strategy y'all okay i'm gonna say this a million times it's not the strategy okay it is not it is the person <laughs> all right i learned this a long time ago i used to shoot film and photography right uh there's actually a video online where there's several now um of iphones shooting movies so back like iphone 10 iphone 9 way back then uh there's people that were shooting hollywood quality movies from an iphone and you would have never known it was an iphone until they said it uh that just lets you know it's not the the phone because a lot of people got an iphone but they don't know how to make it look like that you know what I'm saying? It's the person behind the camera. You feel me? It's not the camera itself. Because you got people that got uh, cinema cameras that cost two, three, four, five, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. Then you got some people that got an iPhone, and the iPhone can look better than this if you put it in the right person's hands. And that's the same thing with trading, y'all. You put it in a certain person's hands, and they're gonna go in. You see what I'm saying? So there's a couple different factors that y'all need to understand when it comes to making big days, right? Number one, you're going to do a whole lot of risking. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not the person that's going to be able to risk half your account pretty much every time you trade, then you're not going to get to them numbers. You know what I'm saying? If you're not that person, if you two, three dollar shawty, you ain't about to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you're not... If you ain't got $100 in there and you're not risking $75, you're not going to get there. And I'm not telling y'all to do that, but I'm telling you there's people out there that do that. You know what I'm saying? I was telling y'all the same way with my wife. Going to risk it for that biscuit. You feel me? They going to risk it for that biscuit. Now, I will tell you this. I assure you, Selch has blown a lot of accounts and lost a lot of bread. And matter of fact, instead of me just talking about stuff, bro... You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to say this, bro. I, I want to say this because I want to let y'all know the real. I cannot take credit for that man's success because he probably not even using, uh, he probably not even using half the stuff I show, you know, 
taught or whatever. But the idea is that he came to me uh, was a couple years ago or a year or two ago. One of that, I'll, I'll show y'all documentation. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know that well, I'm not capping. But uh, came to me at a time where he was losing. You know what I'm saying? And he was trying to figure out how to make certain things work. So I don't know if it was the advice. Because some people, like I said, I got traders that said, you know, they make six figures now and blah, 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 right? And they like, bro, it wasn't even the strategy, bro. It was your mindset. It was you pouring into me in that direction or you teaching me discipline and this, that, and the third that got me to this level or that got me there. So it may not even be my strategy. I got some people that they use my strategy. I got some people that use pieces of my strategy with some people that just use the knowledge of, you know, what I've taught. So that helped them get there. So I don't ever want to take credit for nobody's success because they put in the work and they do it. But I'm just glad I was able to be a blessing to them along the way, y'all. So... You know, we got to show receipts, bro. You know, we don't play these games, y'all. You got you to gotta show receipts if you're talking that stuff. You feel me? And I'm not saying I'm the, I'm not the best trader. Y'all know this. I'm the, I'm the relatable trader. You feel me? So this right here is what he sent me this morning. You feel me? He sent me this. Now, let me show you a couple different things, bro. Trading profit, 52000 He is on the leaderboards, and we'll show you that as well. But look how many trades that man took. 420 trades. All right? 420 trades. So let me ask you this. Are you willing to take 420 trades in a day to get to these numbers? And I promise you, for you to take 420 trades, it was some crazy trades that you lost that you probably had to get back, and, and yeah. So, I'm just saying, if you ain't willing to do that kind of stuff, y'all, listen. Listen, matter of fact, before we go any further, cause shout outs to bro, like I said, he been killing it. I did post one on my other channel where he did 21K in a day. He actually ended up doing 35K, but that was like after I had already recorded that, uh, that video, so. And, you know, here he said, I just pray I get it, which he was talking about his withdrawal because he withdrew 38K. Uh, he just said, feel free to post on your story as you're a big part of why I'm getting results like this. And he said, thanks, bro. You feel me? So God is good, man. It's the person, bro. It's not the strategy, y'all. The strategy you got works. You just don't know how to work that thing. You know what I'm saying? Or you, you timid. You ain't going to really risk it for that biscuit. And that's just what it is. And that's okay. Everybody not meant to do that. All right, so just to show y'all where, where my guy is at right there. That's him on the leaderboards today. It says 62000 so he probably done made some more money. You know what I'm saying? That's him. All right, so to show you, hey, really getting it in out here. But I also want to show you, uh, let me go all the way up. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning of our, our messages, y'all, so y'all can see. You know what I'm saying? For y'all self. Shout outs to bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm not even about to be showing his uh, name and all that because I don't got time for that to be trying to run over there and blow him up. That man living, doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? All right. So look, I'm going to show y'all proof. Look at this. Here. 18 2022 at 1225. Bro texts me. Bro, I keep blowing, uh, blowing accounts. I'm up like three to four hundred dollars. Then I get excited and blow it. Lost around uh, 4K. You give people advice, you know, you be a blessing to them, uh, and boom. Hey, at the time, he was only making like three to four hundred dollars a day, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And he always asked me, like, bro, uh, am I gonna get my withdrawal? I'm like, yeah, you're gonna get it, bro. These are the blessings in staying consistent at day trading, not giving up on it, right? This is what it looks like, y'all. And I also want to show you uh, somebody else right quick. Somebody just said I was giving away all the juice. Hey, God is good, man. I can't take no credit for none of this stuff, though. Honestly, man, I'm just a vessel, man. I like, I'm just a vessel, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Don't, you ain't got to push yourself to them crazy numbers like that. And if you feel like it's for you, it's for you. Shout outs to Josh. That boy Josh. I sent him this the other day. I said, 
I know you remember when you sent me this. Now you going crazy. Look at this. So I can show y'all, people was losing. 21,000 in the negative, right? And then bro went crazy and, and withdrew 40K uh, probably like a week or two ago. I think I posted it on my Instagram. Gotta give another shout out to Josh, man. Look at the countdown on 62,000. Crazy as day, right? All praise to the GOAT. But listen, I'm not the GOAT. Jesus is the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? All glory to God. But he did tag you, boy. I appreciate that. But listen, and then he withdrew 45,000. I'm gonna get to it. Come on now, it's coming. Boom. He withdrew 45000 and it came in two days from pocket options. So when you ask them, do they pay? Yes, they do pay. But just to show you, they're like, look, people have bad weeks. They have bad days. They have bad months. But if you stick to it long enough, if you stick to your rules, I'm going to tell you one very important rule that I figured out about most of these traders. Number one, they take big risks. Number two, they don't trade OTC anymore. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if Josh still do. I, I think he do. I think he mix, mix uh, a little bit of both. But majority of traders do not trade OTC no more. Majority of the people you see on them leaderboards, pretty much all of them, they don't trade OTC. You know what I'm saying? And I've noticed that. Even my wife, when she switched. I mean, she did kill it and make a lot of money with OTC. And I'm not saying you can't. But... There's a difference between knowing when you're being manipulated and then you actually going in there and knowing it was your mistake. Because if you're trading regular Forex pairs, then you know, hey, if I mess this up, that was on me. You know, either my timing was off, the strategy, I might need to tweak one or two things. But other than that, it was me versus you going in there and OTC making you feel like you don't know how to trade because you getting manipulated and not even realizing it. So now you don't feel like a good trader. You know what I'm saying? Because you keep losing on OTC. So I'm just saying what well, the pattern is, majority of them just trade the regular Forex pairs, if not all of them. Because they tell you on pocket options what they trade. You know what I'm saying? So understand that it's not the strategy, folks. It's the person. Are you willing to be that person? You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to risk half your account each time? If you're not, if you're not there yet, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and that might not be what God got for you. It ain't what he got for me. I told y'all, my highest day, I believe it was 2021 or 20, somewhere in there. But my highest uh, trading day was like 19K, basically like 20K. It was on gold. It was on a live Zoom call when I was on there with Low, no, Low Snake. Uh, I think Bobby was on there as well. That was when we was... I forgot exactly what the Zoom call was, but it's on YouTube. I just got to find it. I couldn't find it. So, But it's on there. You know what I'm saying? And that was my highest day ever. You know what I'm saying? 10K was at first on Forex. Then, you know. But since then, I haven't got past 20K in a day. And I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand what I'm here for, what I'm trading for. Uh, and I'm trading, like I said, to now I'm just trading to pay my credit cards down. Because I, I, got, I got money, so I'm just like... We're good, you know what I'm saying? But now, like, I'm just paying, like, I'm trading just to pay credit cards down that I run up. Run them up, take it out, pay it down. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have different goals uh, when it comes to trading, a different trading plan. Some people want to pay off a house. Some people want to buy a house. So that may be why they're going so risky. They got things to do. You know what I'm saying? And I understand Josh is a professional athlete, uh, so he had money to put in there as well. Uh, I think he said he, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, if you're watching, but I think he said he put 30K in and grew it to like 60 or 70K. And then, you know, uh, and I know Selch, he got that bag. His account is at 80K now. So he he been growing that bag and then taking it out, growing it and taking it out. So they've been doing their thing, man. And I, I just love to see it, man. Regardless if you learn from me or not, any trader that's doing that, I respect, man. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's inspirational. Uh, and it's just a beautiful thing to be able to do that and take care of the people you love, pay some bills, get some debt knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you're able to do that from the markets, I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always a big fan of, of anybody killing it. Even if you're making 500 a day or a week, I'm a fan of you. If you're making $10 a week, I'm a fan because you've learned a skill that pays you. You know what I'm saying? And so never, like I told y'all, comparison is the thief of joy. The worst thing you can do is to look at somebody else's situation and wish that 
you know, or wonder why it ain't you and wish it was you and wish you had their life and all that because you don't know what nobody go through. You know what I'm saying? So I don't ever wish I had nobody else's life. I'm glad with the life God gave me, even if I didn't have all the stuff I got now. You know what I'm saying? Still happy. I was happy when I was broke. I'm happy now that I got money. It, it don't change. You know what I'm saying? So, again, look, if you're trying to hit big days like that, I'm telling you, it's, you, it's going to be up to you. It's some rules you're going to have to set in place. I told y'all, for me, I got days where I'm feeling it and I'm about to go in. You know what I'm saying? I got days where I'm like, I'm about to go stupid in the markets today. And I might just risk a lot, you know what I'm saying, to make. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter if you see 400 trades. The man made 50K. <laughs> I don't care if it was 5,000 trades. If I make 50K in a day, I don't care how many trades I took. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't ma- that don't matter, bro. <laughs> you made 50 bands. You feel me? Because I see people, some people be like, oh, well. You know, that's a lot of trading, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Now, some of y'all know uh, Q Banks. If you don't, one of the best Forex traders out here. Uh, you know uh, Pips Don't Lie, which is, uh, I forgot his freaking name. But, yeah, him, uh, Raul, all of them, all of the big traders that y'all see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I heard Q Banks in an interview say, and I could be, like, a little wrong on what I'm about to say, but I believe from what I remember, he said that he was up 50K in a day. Like, he was up, meaning, and he traded traditional Forex, so this wasn't, you know, binary, but he traded traditional Forex, and he was his account was positive 50,000. He had a trade running, right? It was 50,000 up. He decided to let the trade go into drawdown. Now, if I see 50,000 in a day, and my trade hasn't, hasn't closed out, I'm going to close it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not holding and trying to see if I can get more. That's just me. I'm taking it. But he decided to let the trade go and draw down. And it went and draw down to like 160, 180, somewhere in there. So you went from 50K to draw down of 180 to get to 400,000 a day. That's the kind of person that I'm talking about, y'all. Like, it takes a special kind of person to do that. And if you're not willing to do that, it ain't your strategy. I'm telling you, you got the strategy. It's just going to be, are you willing to do what it takes to get those numbers? Because it ain't easy and it ain't going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take a lot of stress on you in that market when you was positive 15K and then you take an ugly trade and now you back down, uh, you know, you lost 7,000 of it. Now you got to get that back. And then go risk some more, and then you finally get your account to 50k, and then you end up dropping down to 25k, and then you got to build that back up there. Like it'd be like that. That's why you see some people taking so many trades because it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Are you willing to go to that, go through that emotional state of trading to to get to those levels? Like, yeah. So when you see success like that, just know it wasn't easy, and they going in. You know what I'm saying? So just like I said, just 2022. He was complaining about not being able to, you know, or losing three to four hundred K or whatever when he gets a certain amount, he blow it and it was just ugly. But now the man making 50 K in a day, y'all. God is good, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm happy for people like that. I'm happy for all of the people that watch me, that follow me, that learn anything from me. I'm grateful. And like I said, most of the people I teach end up making more money than me anyway. You know what I'm saying? And I, I freaking love that because my whole goal is not to be this super big trader. Now, I do, like, eventually, like I said, I will turn up eventually. You know what I'm saying? Where I, where I really just fund an account with a lot and just go crazy and make crazy days. Because, like, when I got 10, 15 k in my account, I can five, 6,000 a day pretty much every day if I want to because it just it get easier as the account gets bigger. But, uh... I'm always just just amazed by the people that come through my channel and then later I hear from them and they starting businesses and they open up this and that and they're like, yo, all the knowledge you gave me back when I was broke or whatever helped me to be a blessing now. And it just it's a beautiful thing, y'all. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have to become a special kind of person to do them kind of numbers. And I ain't never did 50K in a day, but I've done a lot in a day and it take the same amount of energy. You know what I'm saying? Cause I promise you. The days where I did the day I did the 19k and the day I did the 10k, very stressful. Matter of fact, oh, I even said it in the video, y'all. And let me show you what I said, in case you think I'm joking. 
This was in 20, a matter of fact, dang, you trying to turn around for you, boy. This was in, this was two years ago. So this is 2021 or two, three years ago now, I believe. But listen to what I said, y'all. What did I ever do? So I had to make sure I document this. Y'all. I did some wild trades. This is a little count, but I did do it. I did do it. What's today? October the 1st or the 2nd? 1st. October the 1st. And today I did 10K. All right. Click on last week. We did a pretty good amount last month. Uh, so y'all can see right there, I deposited 12000 See? You know, and I made 11000 uh profit. We're really over that now, but uh, the account balance is now at uh, 28000 on this account but this is my first 10k day did a lot of crazy crazy trades man uh, i did take some l's but as you can see we still was 10k in profit so crazy crazy trades y'all like look lost he's back to back lost 1300 lost 1400 lost 1200 lost 1900 like crazy y'all taking crazy l's and i had to play so many trades to get to the 10K day. It was a very stressful, freaking pull your hair out kind of day, y'all. Uh. So that's what I'm saying. Like, in order for you to really get to those those kind of days, y'all, uh, like, it's going to take a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, I'm trying to get this <laughs> camera to come. I'm going to just hold it because it's more tweaking. But yeah, it's going to take a lot out of you to do that. So again, if you're willing to do it and you're willing to, you know, risk a little more this year or whatever the case is, it's going to suck. You know what I'm saying? You'll blow some account, a lot of them, to try to to try to try do it. It ain't going to be fun, but it will be worth it when, it find, when it's all said and done. You know what I'm saying? When your negative overall turn positive and you able to just go live life and do your thing, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. So, yeah, this is going to be a long video. I already knew, but I just wanted to say it because people always ask, you know, they always ask, what strategy are they using? And I'm like, bro, it's not the strategy. It is the person. When you figure that out and figure out what you're doing work, if you made money with your strategy that you got right now, it will make you the same amount of money as that person. The only thing you're going to have to tweak, a couple things you might have to tweak, you might not want to trade OTC trying to do it because you will get manipulated and will not be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Majority of the time, you're going to be stressed out. So you might want to switch to regular Forex pairs, right? You might just have to recognize what day is good for you and what day is not. Or you might just have to trade every day. You know what I'm saying? You might just have to be extremely risky on your account and make sure that every trade is at a, a zone or something to where you're getting those bounces. But you're going to have to really go stew in the markets to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like putting myself through that much stress. So a lot of times I don't even try to make a lot like, like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm cool with three to five hundred a day, five hundred to a thousand a day. If I'm really feeling it, or my account big enough, I might do two or three thousand, four thousand every now and then. I don't even try to do it every single day because it's just stressful. You know what I'm saying? It's very stressful, high anxiety. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, I said all that, man, because I just want y'all to really understand that it ain't the strategy. So stop asking. <laughs> it ain't. You got strategies all on YouTube. I got a million of them that I done showed. All of my course, all those work. Every last one of them. I got some students that's killing it with just five second strategies. They killing it with just ten second strategies. It all works, bro. You know what I'm saying? It all works. You gonna put your account at a lot of risk, but it worked. You feel me? So, I love y'all, man. I just wanted to make this uh, to let y'all know that look, it's possible, and I'm glad y'all able to see it. And you know, I'm glad I've been able to be a blessing to anybody. You feel me? That uh, crossed my path, and God is good. I can't take no credit for it. I love y'all, and Lord willing, I'll see y'all in another video. Peace.